If you want to learn how to fight like Sagwanu, this is the proper video. In this short fight analysis I'm going to break down his most used techniques, with the goal to understand how and when to perform those type of kicks. If you want to learn all these Sagwanu secrets, watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn to fight like Korean players. And we start with a already a beautiful, not a beautiful, but a back kick to the body. When he's in a clinch, play a lot his back kick and tries to score in the clinch. So the red seems a little bit taller, so probably he's trying to close the distance to score from a shorter distance. Also, there's a new rule, penalize a little bit the smaller player because they have to be a little far. So we can see in the moment the referee stop and divide them. He already tried to push and to move closer to the opponent. So the blue is able to push the red in the corner. The red is able to score with a front round house. In the moment the red had the leg up, he struck a punch that was able to score. Already closed the gap with a simple back kick and the blue was able to cover again this gap with another back kick. So we know that this Korean player plays a lot with the back kicks. It's easy to score with the simple kicks because it's the kick that you train more. And if you are smaller and you know to play against a taller player, you just close the distance, push himself with his arms and scores with the back kicks to the body. For now, we are not watching weird kicks. Probably this is one different and maybe a little bit harder because he used a side kick. Lose a bit his focus, didn't react properly. He was able to find a spot in the red card and take those two points. This blue is a second tornado kick that tries and first one didn't went well for him because the red was able to score two points. Inside this one the red didn't react but still it wasn't able to score. You close uh, a little bit of distance and when you are not close you strike a punch. Maybe you can also fake a cut kick so your opponent is going to use a cancel kick and you can take a three points. Other two points for the blue with this side kick he was able to find a spot in the red guard. The difference between a cut kick and this side kick is just that he comes meets a lot on this side kick. So we can watch this blue dance use a lot of cut kicks, mainly some side kicks, some and he focus on back kicks where he was able to score other two points. So when he is able to close the distance, he push himself and strike with back kicks. Now the blue is in the corner. Also, if he has a big gap, he's not trying to risk and the red is not taking the chance to aim to the head. Now we can start this second round. The blue started a lot aggressive. The red starts with a cut kick, he cancelled the kick and uh, he was able to strike two points in clinch. Now the red is in the corner, so the red was good to attack while he was in clinch. So he used a lot his cut kicks uh, to try to take some points, but the blue wait the proper moment to score with this beautiful side kick. Another beautiful trade and the red was able to score with the spinning kicks. And that is the mistake of the blue. So we can watch one of the reasons why is really a risk to strike a punch because if you don't pay the proper attention and the red understand and read your movements he can easily score with the spinning kicks because you are wide open like in this case look how much is open he doesn't have any sort of guard in this moment he's not uh, he does not cover the front the side he's wide open to any type of kick so the red was able to use this blue weakness properly because he was able to score with the spinning back kick so he was able to cope the gap we can watch again this is a mistake he just walked towards the Red. This is a mistake that happens in every tire of belt and every tire of fight. Pro level, like this one, fighters make this mistake. This blue is really annoying with this side kick with the back kicks to the body, so he was able to score other two points. And this side kick is able also to find a lot of spots. So he has three weapons. We can find the three weapons in this player: the side kick, the back kick, and the skill to close the distance and punch and take points. So those are the three main weapons that he use and that he's able to score. Points. He has also some beautiful tornado kick. Of course, I, I'm not talking about this footwork that is beautiful and is real good. So something that you should work. Also, this punch is the was risky too, but he was able to stop the opponent, and the red was a little bit blocked by uh, the blue action. Other two points with the same kick. So with the back kicks, you win an entire match just with back kicks in clinch. Other two points. You can watch how you do not need the weird or uh, tornado kick or spinning kicks to win a match you just need some back kicks some well placed back kicks on the right moment and the right moment is when you close the distance against a taller player and you strike to his back 
So the first kick is here, back kick, then again he closed this turn with a side kick and he was able to score with the side kick instead with the back kick. Then uh, he closed the action uh, with a punch. Now he just need another point, so he's going to strike another punch in most of cases to take 10 point cap or probably he can also aim for uh, 3 points uh, and close the match. Other 2 points, so now he's uh, just 1 point cap to win this match uh, and probably he's going to try to punch the opponent. And in the end uh, he was able to find the spot with another sidekick. That was a beautiful match and I advise you to rewatch this match as much as you can and learn to use your back kicks. This is your goal for your next sparring. Train on back kicks, on clinch back kicks because this is the best kick that you can learn. It's easy to apply, it's easy to learn and give you a lot of results. Do not focus on train tornado kicks on work kick, just focus on work on basic kick, simple kicks that works decent and you can watch that uh, pro players win fight just with one kick. So you must learn these simple kicks. Close the distance with a fake side kick, so use a feint, then so when you close the distance you can score with your back kick. If you want to watch a similar video like this, click the video in the center of the screen.